live this Tuesday. It's time for Family Feud. Okay, thank you so much. I'm your man, Lucky McCoy. Let's get things started by meeting our feuding families. These folks are looking lean and mean. I can tell they're going to put up a good fight to win today's jackpot. Here's who's standing in your way. It's the Cooper family. Here's how it works. You and your family will guess the answers on the board to our survey questions. Whichever team gets the highest score goes on to play fast money for the chance to win 20,000 big ones. All right, feuders, let's play. It's time to face the first question in the face-off. Who's playing? Let me see you up front. There's four answers for you to find. When you have an answer to our survey, buzz in as fast as you can. Whoever finds the top answer first gets to decide if they want to play or pass. 100 people gave us an answer to this question. Name something physical that happens to you when you're cold. Think you got something? Nice. Let's run with it. Shiver. That, my friend, is the top answer. What's it going to be? Play or pass? Okay, rejoin your family and we'll get things started. Think you've got a good answer? Let's hear it. Okay, sure. Do we have it? Strike one. Two more and you're out. Oops. Got a guess ready? Because I'm going to need one. I see where you're going with this. Did our survey say it? Uh-oh, two strikes. Our other family better get ready. Don't. Have you got something for us? Oh, okay. Is it up there? I got bad news, folks. That's three strikes. Yay. Now it's the other family's turn to take a crack at it. One answer will do it, and they can steal the round. Give me an answer, and if you're right, you get all the points. Give me a wrong one, and, uh, well, you know. All right, let's try it. Is that answer good enough? Confusion. That's not it. 
You've won this round. Let's see what you missed. And number four, please. Aches. What do we have in three? Cold extremities. Here comes number two. Goosebumps. Before we move on, let's take a moment to see the current scores. That's only the first round. Let's keep moving. It's time for another face-off. I need one person from each family to join me up front. We've got five answers on the board. Get ready to buzz in when you have an answer. We took a survey of 100 people, asking them, Name something kids are told to take turns using. You're up first. Oh, yeah. Sure thing. Show me that answer. You're wrong. We're still looking for the top answer, by the way. Name something kids are told to take turns using. Said with confidence. Let's see if that's a good answer. Bathroom. Looks like you finally struck gold. You're on the board. Time to decide. Play or pass. They really had you on the ropes last time. Now it's time to start swinging. What's your answer? Good, okay. The survey says, swing. Nice job. Yeah. Do you have an answer? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good answer. All right, let's take a look. Toys. Top of the board. Name something kids are told to take turns oh. using. Great answer. Oh, yeah. Yes. Let's see if it's up there. Bike. The board is almost clear. Hey. That's a good answer. What will you go for? Uh, nice. Good. Great answer. Got it. What did our survey say? Phone. You found all the answers. You're the big winner this round. Which family is leading the way? Let's find out. There's not much separating you two after those two rounds. Are you ready for another face-off? Who's playing this time? Get yourselves over here. We want the top four answers to this question. Whoa, things are getting hot in here because the points in this round are doubled. We took a survey, 100 people, Name a popular color for a sports car. You're first on the buzzer. What you got? Oh, yeah. That's what you're going with? Survey says... Red! Wowee, number one. Player pass. What's it gonna be? This could be your shot for a comeback. 
Let's go. You look like someone who's got a good guess for us. Understood. Did our survey agree? Black. It's on the board. All right. Great answer. There's just two answers up there. Um. Good, Good answer. answer. Yep. Is that answer up there? Silver. You hear that noise? That's a strike. Oh. Have you got some feud for thought? Oh. That's good. Yeah. Ah, yes. And our survey says white. Uh. That's your second strike right there. You're still alive. What do you think? Then let's see if you're right. And that's your third strike. We're throwing out a lifeline to the other family. If this family finds just one answer, they'll steal the round. Is it there? If it is, you've scored a steal. If not, the points go straight over to the other side. That's good. Is it up there? Show me. Gold. That's not the one. And this round goes to you. What are the answers we didn't find? Number four. Blue. What was hiding behind slot number two? Yellow. Here's how the scores are shaping up so far. Holy moly, we've got ourselves a battle here. A new leading family. Let's play another game. I want two people to join me over here. You'll need seven answers. All right, now, it's still anyone's game because for this question, the point values are tripled. We got 100 people to answer the following question. If Santa's sleigh broke down, Name another form of transportation he might try using. You're first. What's your answer? Yeah. Answer accepted. Did any of our 100 people say it? Plane. Answer number one. So what's the deal? You gonna play or pass? Wow, they must feel good about this one. They're going to play again. Give me an answer. Right. That's That's answer. Answer. Here we go, then. Do we have a right answer? Helicopter. Bingo. Got an answer for me? Okay. Oh, yes. 
It's worth a shot. Let's see if it's there. Car. Yes. Yay. What do you think? Interesting answer. Could it be up there? Let's find out. Boat. If it's not on the board, you get a strike. If Santa's sleigh broke down, name another form of transportation he might try using. Feeling lucky? Let's see if the board's got it. Truck! Awesome! Yeah. It's your turn to guess. Maybe. Oh, no, yeah. that's a good answer. That's what you think, huh? Let's see what the survey says. Train! That's a good one. Hey there. Looks like it's your turn. Uh-huh. Yes. I think you might be repeating something we already had. Got another strike on the board. If Santa's sleigh broke down, name another form of transportation he might try using. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's check the board and see if it made it. Horse. Three strikes. The other family has a chance. To steal the points, all they've got to do is find one right answer. You could steal all the points with this answer. Great answer. We have an answer. Show me the answer. Go kart. That's not what we're looking for. It's another win. Are you ready to see the rest of the answers? What's behind number seven? Bus. It's the fifth answer. Snowmobile. It's time to find out who's won the game. And we have ourselves some winnerinos. Yeah. You're going to play fast money. No, Sorry, sure. Coopers, but somebody's got to come in second. What should we do now? Oh, I know. Let's play Fast Money. We need another contestant to join our team captain. You'll need to team up with your best player. Who's it going to be? That's a fine choice. You're both going to do great. You're going to go first. I'm going to ask you five survey questions, which you'll answer against the clock. If you and your teammate can score more than 200 points, you'll win the jackpot. Your time starts now. Name a plant associated with Christmas.
Name an activity that your feet aren't on the ground to do. Name something your date brings to dinner that makes you think they're cheap. Name a U.S. state where 100 degree temperatures are common. What do grandkids like to count on grandpa's face? That's everything. Let's see how your partner does with these questions. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate any answers. If you do, I'll ask you to try again. OK, let's start the clock. Name a plant associated with Christmas. Name an activity that your feet aren't on the ground to do. Name something your date brings to dinner that makes you think they're cheap. Name a U.S. state where 100 degree temperatures are common. What do grandkids like to count on grandpa's face? We're done. That's it. There's nothing more we can do now. Let's bring both contestants on stage and find out how you did. For starters, we asked, name a plant associated with Christmas. What did you say? You ought to be happy with those answers. A good answer and a not so good answer. Poinsettia. That would have given you the top points. Next, we wanted to know, name an activity that your feet aren't on the ground to do. You answered. Let's see what our survey said. A top answer. Good going. All right, for the third question, we asked. Name something your date brings to dinner that makes you think they're cheap. What were your answers? I think we've got a couple of good answers there. That's a top answer. Great job. We asked you, name a U.S. state where 100 degree temperatures are common. These were your answers. Did either of these get any big points? Ooh, unlucky. Arizona. That would have been the best answer. Here's your last question. What do grandkids like to count on grandpa's face? You said. It's the final question. What did our survey say? No. Oh, that's a shame. No. You didn't do enough to win the top prize this time. You may not be taking home the big bucks today, but we've still got a nice prize for you. We're going to add up your points, multiply them up, and write you a check for the total. Thanks for playing, and I hope...